What's going on YouTube? D-Ski from D-Ski Grills back with another cooking video and today we are smoking up a beautiful prime tri-tip on the Gateway Drum Smoker. Let's go. All right, folks, so you saw that intro. Now, when you're talking prime tri-tip, you're talking about special, special beef, okay? Put that in pair with the Gateway Drum Smoker, it's gonna be phenomenal, all right? No more than three, three and a half hours max, and this baby should be done. So let's talk about what ingredients we're gonna be using for today's cook, what type of wood, and just how this process is gonna go, all right? So for starters, we have mustard as a binder, we have a special rub that I have been working on for months on end. It is more of a brisket type rub. It has your kosher salt, your black pepper. It has your garlic powder, your onion powder, Laurie season salt. This has been phenomenal on my briskets and I know it's gonna be awesome on this tri-tip. Okay, let's talk about the star of the show. The star of the show is a four pound beautiful prime tri-tip. All right, I bought this from HEB. We're going to hit this baby with awesome pecan smoke. We're gonna let it roll between 225 and 250. Towards the end of the cook, once we get up to around 140 degrees, I'm gonna open up the top, okay? And once you open up the top on the Gateway Drum Smoker, it gets angry, all right? We want it to get angry because we wanna build up a crust at the very end of this cook so we can finish up with something that's gonna be absolutely phenomenal, that's gonna cut like butter, that's gonna have a beautiful smoke ring, and it's gonna be special, all right? So you know what we'll do. I'll take you to the cutting board, I'll show you step by step how we're gonna season. We're gonna fire up that Gateway Drum Smoker, You've seen that done many times. All I'm gonna do is get that baby fired up, get it dialed in between 225 and 250, and let the smoker do the rest. I wanna thank you as always for joining me, and let's get cooking. All right, so we're back, all right? At the cutting board, we're gonna go ahead and get started with the seasoning process. Now, I'd be remiss if I didn't thank my brother for this awesome hat, okay? You see the team? The team that has been letting me down for a whole lot of years, but I love them still the same. But what makes this hat so awesome is the insignia on the right side here, okay? Check it out. I got my own special Deesky Grills barbecue Cowboys hat. All right, let's get going, folks. So we're gonna go ahead and get this baby cut open. When you're talking prime beef, you're talking prime marbling, right? So you're already set up for success because you have all that awesome intermuscular fat that's in here to begin with. Makes it really, really hard to mess up. Okay, so here's what we have going on. We have a nice fat cap on the bottom, which I'm gonna trim down in some spots. We can do that together really quick. Again, we have that intermuscular marbling through and through. Some of this sinew, see, we don't want this on here as well. We'll work on some of that also. Okay, but at the end of the day, when you're talking tri-tip, you have two different grain patterns. What's really important is once it's done to slice in the correct direction, okay? So this tri-tip runs this direction here as far as the grain for this half of the tri-tip. The remaining runs in this pattern that way, okay? So we gotta make sure to cut it correctly so we can have awesome tender beef at the end. What I have is a Wusthof boning knife that I've been using for Oh, a few years now. Uh, it does the job. So all I'm going to do, folks, is spend a little time doing some trimming here. And we'll get back together right after that. I'll show you a little bit. The main thing is just to kind of bring that fat down. Some of that hard fat that you know for a fact is not going to be any good for your final product. Stuff like that. All right, folks, we're back. So let me show you what we have going on now. I trimmed off down to about a quarter inch on the back side of this tri-tip. All of this is gonna render and break down just amazing, okay? What I'm gonna do is cook fat cat down on the Gateway Drum Smoker. There is a reason for that, okay? When that fat hits those beautiful coals, what it does is it bursts flavor back up into your meat and makes a final result that is phenomenal, okay? So we will have it fat cap down during this cook. I wanna show you our meat side 
and look how beautiful we have done here. We have exposed meat all over the place. It is time to start seasoning, okay? So let's do that now. So we're using mustard today. We're gonna get a generous coat on our fat cap side, and we'll start with that first. Should have shook this up a little bit. All right, let's get some on our fat cap side first. Okay, and we'll just rub that in. This is standard operating procedures, right? We all know this. We'll get that added. And since we're only using one rub, that makes it easy. We just go ahead and go heavy with this awesome Deesky Grills brisket rub that hopefully I can share with you guys in 2023. Um, we'll see. Been working on some stuff behind the scenes, but this um, is really, really good. I've, I've come up with a blend that I feel is going to be special on anything beef related. Been doing all kinds of samples and things like that, cooking a lot of different meats using this. Uh, what I haven't done is tri-tip. So it's a good opportunity for me to do a trial run and at the same time, let you guys see the final product and just how beautiful uh, the crust and everything comes from this rub. Beautiful seasoning all the way around. We'll let this baby sit on the cutting board. I'm gonna go fire up the Gateway Drum Smoker. Uh, we'll get together once that thing reaches around 225 to 250 degrees, and it'll be time to put this beautiful tri-tip on. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, folks, we're back. The Gateway Drum Smoker is at 200 degrees, and I love to start my cooks just up under the target temperature, so as it increases, you get a chance to dial it in. You don't want to overshoot, so going on a little bit under temperature is the best way to creep up to the temperature you're looking for. All right, so here's what we got going on. I'm going to get this baby opened up. And what we're going to do is we're going to add pecan chunks, okay? So that's how we're going to infuse this thing with pecan flavor. And I'm just going to drop it right on top of those awesome coals and start that smoking process right away. All right, so here's the chunks we have. We're going right inside the chamber. I'm going dead on top of where the fire source is, and I'm putting a few more chunks on the outside that can reach it a little bit later so it continues to infuse it with that pecan flavor. All right, so we're going on the sides of it as well. Okay, so that should do it what I have in here now. We're coming back with our grill grate. And our beautiful star of the show. So you know where we're at right now. We're at the part of the video that makes me the most happiest. The part of the video that gets everything going. And that's let's get cooking. All right, folks, so we're going on with this beautiful prime tri-tip. Remember I said I'm cooking fat side down. So we're going to lay this side down. Close this baby up and get back together in about an hour and I'll let you see how it's coming along. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, folks, we're about an hour and a half into this cook. Let me show you how we're tracking here. Look at this here. Check it out. We are sitting right at around 220 to 225 degrees. Gateway Drum Smoker is doing its job. We have a beautiful, beautiful blue smoke billowing out of this thing. I want us to check this out for the first time together. Then we'll shut it right back down and let it keep on going, okay? But again, about an hour and a half into this cook. Here we go. Let that smoke settle. You can see what we have coming along here, okay? Beautiful fire that is just stoked down at the end. This thing is just smoking magnificently. Look at that, folks. Look at that beautiful bark. Isn't that wonderful? Look at that. Okay, so this is what we're after. Again, you can see we have more pecan smoke to touch and keep on infusing, but we're gonna shut it back down, keep this baby cooking right around that 225 to 250 range, get back together in another hour, and then start checking internal temps. See you guys in a bit. All right, folks, we're back at it. We're at around the two and a half hour mark. Show you where we're tracking at. We are sitting at around 210 degrees. I choked down a little bit uh, earlier because I opened it up and I let the heat kind of take over. So we got up to like 260, I choked it down. Now we're at 210, okay? So let's check out where we're at as far as internal temps. Man, I tell you what, the color is beautiful on this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, start checking and seeing if we're ready now to do the last process, which is gonna be searing this baby off, okay? So here we go. We'll start right in the middle. And we are there, we have 149, oh yeah, absolutely. 
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, stay together, start this searing process. And all that means is we're going to just leave this uh, door open. This thing is gonna get hot and angry. I'm gonna move the rack down to the second level to get closer to the coals. So let me do that and we'll get right back together. All right, folks, so I wanted to bring you right back to it and show you now that we have brought the tri-tip down to the second layer. All right, so we're on the second uh, pegs closer to the fire and we're gonna let this baby just go, okay? We're gonna let it get angry and start charring this baby off, okay? All right, so we're hanging out together. Check out what we got going on. We have wood fire type cooking, right? So we have our beautiful Fogo lump charcoal that's getting angry right on top of this beautiful tri-tip. Get the fire over here, check it out. We're gonna go about two minutes on each side. We just wanna set that bark. We wanna set that crust. Then we're gonna bring this thing in, let it sit for around 10, 15 minutes and cut into it. What a wonderful cook today. What a wonderful cook. You can see Deesky Grill's new rub and how it sets that beautiful bark. Look at that pretty color, folks. Looking amazing, looking amazing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do a flip while I have you guys together really quick. We'll flip this over. <sighs> See how that looks? Not enough, okay? So we're going right back over and I want to get a nice char, all right? Kind of like what we have on the back side. This was our fat cap side that got a chance to really do its job, drop into those coals and shoot that flavor back up. Now we want the top to get that same beautiful color. So we'll stay here for about two minutes, then I'll meet you at the cutting board and we can check out the final product of our beautiful smoked prime tri-tip made on the Gateway Drum Smoker. Okay folks, we are back and I am so excited to show you the final product of this beautiful smoked prime tri-tip made on the Gateway Drum Smoker. So let's talk about what we did real quick before we unveil this goodness. And towards the end, I have a bonus surprise on what we're gonna add to this awesome tri-tip. So here's what we did, folks. We started off with a four pound tri-tip. We cleaned off the silver skin. We cleaned off a lot of the fat cap. Got that baby really, really nice where you had awesome meat exposure. That's what you want. Starting with prime, you already have intermuscular, beautiful fat. That's gonna make it tender. And at the end of the day, folks, we came with mustard first. We put mustard as a binder. Then we came back with Deesky's special brisket rub, okay? Coming to you soon, don't forget about it. All right, we went on both sides, we let it sit. Went out there and got that Gateway Drum Smoker fired up, got it up between 200 to 225 degrees, and it was smoking time, right? We added pecan wood to infuse that baby with awesome smoke flavor. And after two and a half hours, it was time to go ahead and start searing it off. So then folks, I took that grill grate, I moved it down to the second layer so that Drum Smoker could get angry and sear this baby off, okay? Can't wait to show you this. Here we go. I've been resting for like 15 minutes. I wanted to make sure we rested long enough so I could cut into this. But I want you to see juices, okay? This, this is what it's all about, okay? I, I, I gotta make sure you can see this. It's, it's about to just drip over this thing, all right? This is what's so important about resting. Look at the flavor you build when you rest, okay? With these juices, I'm gonna have to go ahead and do a spoiler alert and move this over here to the stove and show you what else I'm working on. So what we have is a blend of mushrooms, onions, jalapeno peppers, and red wine. We have to add these awesome drippings to this as well to make it awesome and authentic. So here we go. Let's add some of this. Look at this, folks, so you can see the juices. Check it out. You think I'm playing? Look, folks, whoa, about to lose it. Look, folks, look how much juice came off this tri-tip. Now, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna use our Kalina knife today. And we're gonna go ahead and cut into this tri-tip. If you remember, I told you, tri-tip goes in two different directions. It's very important to understand the grain pattern. What I'm looking at now is this part of the tri-tip on this side here is actually going this way, okay? So I'm gonna cut right in the middle, all right? First off, I'm gonna show you how beautiful this thing is. Look at this beautiful tri-tip. Look at that, folks, okay? So we know that this one is going this way, so we wanna cut against the grain. I'm gonna turn it this way, and we're gonna start cutting some beautiful slices here. Nice fat cap. Oh, goodness gracious. This is not even fair. Okay, this is not even fair. Let me cut it this way where you guys can see it. I want to make sure you can see this. And I'll zoom in for sure because I want you to see the juices that's flowing out of this tri-tip. 
Look, folks. Tri-tip is so flavorful. And when you end up adding this sauce to it, you really got something special. Look at this, folks. Kind of like a brisket, right? The way this thing hangs, this pull-apart goodness is what we have here. I'm going to do a taste test real quick. Mm -hmm. Tri-tip is one of my favorite meats. It's not too expensive. It's one of the best kept secrets, again, of getting awesome beef flavor from a cut that is really, really less coveted, right? Because, you know, tri-tip became popular um, really from Santa Maria style cooking, all right? And that's where it came from, it originated from California. Look at that bark right there. I don't know. Seems like you pay top dollar for this. I'm gonna set this to the side. This Kalina knife is really nice and more so than anything, it's such a cool thing. It's like a conversation piece. You can check this out. These things are good looking. All right, so what we have now is our tri-tip cut up. Let's finish this out. And with our red wine sauce, with the mushrooms and onions, we're gonna get that poured right on top of it. Check it out. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to my channel. Let everyone know what D-Ski Grills is up to. And as always, at D-Ski Grills, grilling is not a pastime, it's a passion. We have something that here that is set up for success. This is beautiful smoked tri-tip, and we made a mushroom red wine gravy sauce to go on top. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks as always for joining me. Later.